since I, we know the joint thoroughly, so now I'm getting into informatica very quickly. So when it comes to informatica joint, so joint can be done using different, different ways, okay? Join operation informatica can be done using source polyfire. And uh, using join a transformation. And using lookup. So these are the three transformations, okay, we can use to join data in informatica. Okay. First, we will see when you can use source qualifier and lookup and all. So, generally, when you can use source qualifier, okay, when data, I am just giving a very high level picture. Okay, so lookup is a special purpose. Okay, we will see that later. Okay, so first I will take source qualifier. Say for example, I have two tables, EMP, DBT, I want to join. Okay, so EMP and DPT, both are from same database, I can just go ahead and then join two tables. So right now, uh, we already have the source EMP here, okay, and then I want to join EMP and DPT and then output I want to write to a target. So what I can do, since I have already EMP table, so I need to get DPT also. So this DPT right now is I'm taking it from a database. Okay. So since it is already in the database, so right now I'll find out, I'll get it from the So now I have employee table and department table. So both tables are already here. So I want to join them. So I'm going to create a new mapping. So tables are already there here. We have imported tables, this and this. So I'm planning to join these two, since both the tables are coming from the same database. So employee and uh, department, both are in Oracle database. So whenever you want to join two tables which are coming from same database, so one of the way is you can drag employee here, you can drag DPT here. You can take any DPT table, whatever, okay? So since you are dragged two tables, you will get source qualifiers for two tables. So this is also Oracle table you will find out all these properties because RDBMS. So this is also RDBMS. So both are there. Now, to join these two tables, since both are coming from a same database, what I can do, I'm just going to delete one of the source qualifiers from here. Then, 
since this is oracle this is also oracle so i can combine so right now if i go to this table so first source qualifier of emp ports these are all columns coming from emp properties nothing we have source if you see there is only associated source definition means right now this is the only table we have right now linked to this particular one means associated source definition means this is the table mapped over here okay, as this property so now what i am doing i am just to selecting the columns from the other table okay then dragging this columns from there to here to single source qualifier so this is the source so when i double click now the source qualifier you can see in this this source qualifier is mapped associated with two sources one is department and emp now if you go to ports okay you will see columns they are all from there and since the department number is already there so these three columns are came from there but both the department numbers are there that's why it renamed it to one so you can if you want to change it otherwise you can keep it as it is now if i go to properties in the source qualifier we left one property which is a user defined join okay so what is user defined join means in since you have data coming from two different two data sets okay if you see data is coming from two tables in the user defined join you can go and give a join condition so department dot department uh, department number dot department equal to employee dot department number so this is your employee and this is your department say okay so now this will join okay two tables and how it is going to join it is like it is like you are writing a join syntax okay so if i go to sql now you can notice if i run this mapping what is going to happen since both are coming from the same database informatica will generate a join syntax for you so if i want to see how this join is going to happen you can find out here since i have not taken any columns i'm going to when i run this mapping informatica will generate okay join syntax for you that's all so that's why you can join two tables which are coming from the same database because source qualifier will generate the sequels since your if at all your data comes from the same databases okay only okay you can join them in the source qualifier so that when you are running this informatica will generate the sql so i'll write it to uh, excel just to and okay here it is created so now i'm making it as file
so you will find out only one source qualifier because even though there are two tables because both are linked to one source qualifier only and uh, this can you can join only when both are coming from a same database if it is coming from a different database a second that's why okay i will require only one connection because both are coming from same database and this is a file i can give any file name. Since we made an inner join, okay, you can see all the data matched here. Okay, employees and the department data. So now let's get uh, see what is the SQL generated in the back side. You can see Informatica generated okay SQL for you. Okay, since the source qualifier can generate SQLs always when you run, so that's why you can only join tables in source qualifier only when they are coming from same database so oracle and oracle and or in case you have any problem in joining let's say you want to do you can also go and give any join condition say for example so this i want to make a uh, outer join or some outer some join using ansi so i can just go and make the same syntax rather than uh, giving a condition and then using that i can also make write join directly like this okay so this is also a valid syntax and then you can use in case so mostly your informatica real time mappings will have some hundreds 150 lines of joins different different things you can also add any other table any other column anything whatever you want okay so if you want to make an inner join with another table also you can do because it is a SQL statement okay the only thing is important is whatever columns you are getting from here let's say we have some columns getting as output from this SQL whatever order these columns are coming from the SQL so first column will go to first port here so how the link from from the SQL to here is first column of SQL will go to first column second column of SQL will go to second port third will in this order it will go and if there is any change in the order okay that will create a problem let's say for example if i go and keep this location in the first column here in sql your sql will not have a problem because i can write a column any place in anywhere but since the first column will go to first port which is employee number here so this column will hold that uh, location value so that's why the order of the column which you place over here and the order of the columns which you select over here it should 100% match okay otherwise okay it will take whatever wrong order you give sometimes it may fail or you will read the wrong data so both data types are same it will take wrong data and then it will get processed if data types are different it will fail okay this is join in the source qualifier so like this you can join n number of tables if i want to join with another table i'm just showing example I want to join with another employee, uh, uh, employee table.
So maybe if you have a different table, you can try. But since I don't have much table, I am just taking example of this. So this employee table also I can directly join. Since employee department they have a foreign keys, you can see they are directly coming. Okay, you, you can see the relation also here. So this is employee table. This is employee table. I just now dragged it. So this also I can go and join any number of tables which I want to join in the source qualifier. So you will see this is a primary key, this is a foreign key because original employee tables have primary key, foreign key. That's why it is coming. I can just link from here to here. So this is all. So now we can go and put one more condition. Okay, I'm just showing example. Like this, you can go ahead and then start writing your own SQLs. Or you can also write your condition here itself because uh, DEPD dot department number equal this and this equal to this. Any conditions you can write. And when the, in the runtime, if you don't write your own SQL, Informatica generates. If you write your own SQL, it will take your SQL. That is SQL order. So this is how giants will work. Mostly you are mappings will have these kind of joins. I'll show an example how joins and source qualifier join is very very important. See here in this mapping, one, two, three sources and all these three sources have been joined to one table. And here, a big scale has been written, a scale, and a lot of things are there here. Union is there, this there, and then joints are there, everything. So you can pick up only required columns from any table and then link over here. So mostly you you tend to write joins in the source qualifier. Whenever you get data from same database, okay. So here you can see from all these tables and there is a join custom. We have written join condition with all and condition. So general that's why any tables or if tables are coming from same database, you can use everything over here because your life will be in source qualifier mostly nowadays in Informatica. <coughs> 